Hello everyone, thanks for watching this video on bod mass. I've been uh, tutoring for several years now and this is the topic amongst my year five, year sixes and sometimes year sevens which causes the most problems. Partly because bod mass seems to tell you that you do things in the order from left to right where it's not quite as simple as that if you're looking at the bod mass letters. I'll come to that in a minute. And also because bod mass has had a bit of a checkered history with metamorphosing from various forms to another. I'll show you what I mean. So bod mass, a couple of years ago at least, when I was at um, secondary school, we had bod mass and it meant, so the B meant brackets. The O, hang on, brackets, the O meant of. The D, this is where it's similar, meant division. The M meant multiplication. The A meant addition. And the S meant subtraction. So it's still, we're, we seem to be back to bod mass. D still means division, M multiplication, A addition, S subtraction. Right, the B still means brackets. It's the O or is it the I that causes the most complications? So when it says of, that is because if you had something like a quarter of, let's say a quarter of eight. So you do the quarter of bit, say it said a quarter of eight plus three. You do the quarter of eight before you add the three. Okay, so to my mind of, is worth, so it's like a quarter of is like a quarter times eight. So that would be a quarter of eight, which obviously would be two, then add three equals five. To my mind, it makes perfect sense to have of. However, somebody came along and they decided they weren't even gonna have bod mass anymore. They were gonna have bid mass. Why change a perfect system? I don't know. So now the I meant indices. Now, indices, what does that mean? Good question. So indices is basically if you had two squared, that's the index or they are the indices. So two times two, obviously. So two times two is four. That's what two squared means. Or you could have two cubed, which means two times two. There's three of them, two times two times two, which is eight. So, so what happened was we, um, someone, not me, I just kept with my old fashioned bod mass from like 40 years ago, whenever it was, but someone decided that, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go back, back to the future, back to the past, whatever. We're going to go back to bod mass, but instead of having of, which they'd probably forgotten ever existed, they decided to have order. So by that they meant they meant the same as the indices. So in other words, you do the squared. So if you had um, down here two squared plus four, you do the two times two, four, before you add the four on. So that's eight, rather than doing, I don't know how you would do anything else anyway, but that's just, that's just how it is. So the order, now I've also heard that the O, someone's been taught bod mass, and been told that the O stands for the O in powers which sounds a bit bizarre because two squared is two to the power two. So what is it? Is it bod mass? Is it bid mass? Is the O orders? Is it the O in powers? Or is it of? Okay, so we've got that confusion to try and sort out. But basically, we know the B is brackets. So anything in brackets we do first. So in other words, if we had three plus two times 10, but we have brackets around the three plus two, 
we'll do the 3 plus 2 first, which will give us 5, times 10 to give us... Right, oh yeah, that is right. I'm going to do that wrong. So 3 plus 2 is 5, times 10 is 50. Okay, so that's the B, that's pretty straightforward. I don't know, the O or the I, I just think, this, let's just not worry about that, because that isn't the thing that causes the most problem. What causes the most problem is the D, M, A, S. The problem is here that people think you always do division before multiplication, you always do addition before subtraction. That's not actually true. What you do is, if you're reading from left to right, you always do division or multiplication before addition or subtraction. So BODMAS should actually be written like that. Division and multiplication actually got equal priority. Addition and subtraction have got equal priority. But they're the lowest of the low. They're a bit higher. That's even higher. That's even higher again. So that's what board mass is. So that's one of the reasons it causes a lot of confusion. So we're going to look at some examples now, which hopefully will bring out some of those issues. Maybe not, but anyway. Okay, let's just rub that out as well. Right, we've got one of our special sheets. I don't think we're going to do all of these questions, but I'll try choose the ones that are going to illustrate the point I've been making. Right, first question. So, 6 minus 2 plus 3. So, with the bod mass, if you say you take addition first, you would do 2 plus 3 is 5, 6 take away 5 is 1. However, if you read it from left to right and give subtraction and addition the same priority, 6 take away 2 is 4, add 3 is 7. So that does illustrate that point quite well. So again with this one, you don't do eight, you don't do five take away two first and then do the eight. You do eight plus, you just read it left to right, eight plus five, 13, take away two is 11. Now this is where bod mass comes well into play because we don't do 12 plus two and then times it by five because the times is more important than the addition. So what we do is 2 times 5 is 10, so we're going to do 12, but we're going to add it to 10, which equals 22. Right, this one we've got a bracket, so we know that we're going to do 7 plus 3, which is 10, times it by 4, which is going to give us 40. This one, we've got a bracket again, so it's easy. We do 8 take away 4, which is 4. We divide by 2, and we get 2. Again, 6 take away 2, We've got 4, we divide it by 1 to give us 4. Right here, that's a bit complicated, doesn't it? So we know you've got to do bracket first. We know we've got to do the, apart from that, we're going to read it left to right. We're not going to divide that by 3 and then at times it by 6. We're just going to go 6, multiply by what's in the bracket, 4 plus 3, 7. And then we're going to divide that answer by 3. So 6 times 7 is 42, divided by 3 will give us 14. Okay, 12 plus 8 divided by 4 times 2, goodness me. So what we've got to do is do the add 12 last. So we're going to do 12 plus, then we've got to do this bit. We've got to read it from left to right. If we do um, division before multiplication, we're going to get a different answer. Well, it's not because we're doing it in order. So... Start from here, 8 divided by 4 will give us 2. We're going to times that answer by 2. Because we've got a plus, we know we do that plus last. So we're going to go 12 plus, we've worked that one out, 4 equals 16. Okay, 18 take away 3. So we're going to do that bit first, it's in brackets. That gives us 15 times 4 minus 3. So we know that multiplication comes before... Subtraction, so we do the 15 times 4, which is 60, take away the 3, which gives us 57. Right, you might as well finish these off, and then I'm going to give you some questions to try out for yourself. So, let's do the bracket. So let's do 15 plus 4 times by the bracket, 6 take away 2 is 4. 
So we know that multiplication comes before addition, so it's going to be 15 plus 16, which is 31. Next one, we've got to do the brackets. So 12 take away 3 will give us 9 times by 9, and then we're going to add 6. So multiplication comes before addition, so 81 plus 6 is 87. Right, 17, we've got two brackets, we'll work at each bracket. 17 take away 6 is 11 times by 5 plus 3, which is 8. 11 times 3 is 88. Okay, pens and paper, or pencils and paper, at the ready for four practice questions. Right, question one is seven take away three plus six equals. Question two, 12 plus three multiplied by six equals whatever. Then we've got bracket eight plus two times by three, what does that equal? Then we've got 15 take away three in brackets, times by nine plus six, what would that equal? It'd be really great if I could line up my equal signs, but that's not happening today. Okay, so, I don't know how long it's gonna take you to work these out, just gonna give you five seconds. Okay, so if you're not ready, just pause your video. So, we've gotta do, just read it from left to right, because it's minus and pluses. Seven take away three is four, add six will give us 10. Right, this time we don't read from left to right because we've got priority times. So we've got to do 12, but add the 3 times 6, so add the 18 to give us 30. Right, this time we've got to do the bracket first. So it's 10 times 3, which gives us 30 again. But I always get worried when there's two answers the same on consecutive questions, but they're right, so it's okay. Um, right, 15 take away 3 is in a bracket, so if we do that, 15 minus 3 is 12. It's a times by 9, and then adding a 6, so the times will go first. So 12 times 9 is 108. We're going to add 6, which will give us 114. Okay, so well done if you got all of those questions right. Thank you for watching that video, and if you enjoyed that, please check out our website for more great online resources. So the address is www.routes2success11plus.uk or find us on Twitter at Roots to Success. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. Thank you.